I'm 680 News Senior Business Editor Mike Apple. Fears of a slowing Canadian economy still not yet materializing in the monthly job statistics. The January data in from StatsCan today indicated an economy that's still adding a lot of jobs, for the most part nationwide. As the labor market grew by 34,500 new jobs, that was on top of the many thousands gained in December of last year, back to back, monthly gains for job creation and the unemployment rate coming down to 5.5% nationwide. You look at the uh, statistical breakdown provincially, Ontario and Quebec continue to lead the way for job growth on a monthly basis. BC, it's got the lowest unemployment rate in the land and Alberta still the weak spot with 19,000 fewer jobs in that province for January. Now all this moves the Bank of Canada again to the sidelines. Uh, the central bank had been talking about worries about consumer spending and confidence but with a still growing economy when it comes to job creation. No one is expecting the Bank of Canada to move on interest rates until later in the springtime at the earliest. Meantime, in the United States, another solid month there for the U.S. labor market, starting off the year at 225,000 jobs created. Unemployment rates still close to a 50-year low, all more fuel for the fodder of the election campaign, the political cycle now in full effect as we start 2020 and the economic data points. Canada Goose, which has been gaining strength recently because of its growing sales in China, well, today put out a warning that the coronavirus is going to dramatically affect its sales in that country. With stores closed, uh, Canada Goose says it is going to drag on revenue uh, from China, and this had its share price today down by as much as 10%. A lot of the luxury brands, including Burberry and others, have been warning about slowing Chinese market sales in the wake of the coronavirus spread. Uber is still losing money, but the company says it should turn its first profit as a company later this year, which is a lot sooner than people thought, considering it's still in the growth phase of its business. Its revenue was up in the latest quarter, its overall number of bookings on the rise, seeing lots of uh, market share gains in ride hailing and uh, food delivery, among other things. The share price for Uber was up by as much as 10% today. It is still, though, below its starting price when it debuted on Wall Street last year. From the 680 Newsroom, I'm Mike Apple for City News.